New South Wales lifts on the far side. New South Wales may have their bow in front. Victoria on this side are in, in front of Western Australia. But New South Wales on the far side could be the crew to beat. It's New South Wales and Victoria. Then follows Western Australia, Queensland and South Australia and Tasmania. They're locked together. New South Wales and Victoria. Victoria and New South Wales. Bow ball to bow ball. They drive to the line. Three strokes to go. New South Wales. New South Wales have won it. Victoria second. Western Australia third. Queensland fourth. Fifth is South Australia and sixth Tasmania. What a race. Stroke by uh, Daniel Noonan. Behind him, uh, Fergus Franklin, Matt Bryan, Nick Turnell, Dominic Grimm, Nicholas Hudson, Sam Locke, and James Chapman. Boxed by uh, Toby Lister and coached by Curtis Jordan. Doing it nicely. 150 metres out in the King's Cup for 2010. New South Wales, one length clear over Victoria. Two and a half lengths back to Western South Australia, followed by Western Australia. But down towards the finishing line, a very, very impressive performance once again by New South Wales. Scoring three in a row in the King's Cup, having uh, won in New South Wales last two years ago. The Coxons very excited there, getting up in the boat. And they've won by a length from, uh, from uh, Victoria. Shown the other six crews a very clean set of blades all the way down the course, rating on 38 strokes a minute. What an impressive performance, ladies and gentlemen. You're seeing here from a world class eight from New South Wales ahead of Victoria. They've got some great uh, rowers in that boat, but no match for the New South Wales crew driving down to the line with 100 metres to go in the 2011 Kings Cup for the men's innovator eight odds championship. Victoria trying gallantly in second place. But New South Wales all the way in the 2011 Kings Cup as they come down to the line, the shadows of the post. New South Wales hold on to win convincingly by three quarters of a length from uh, Victoria in second place.
Still New South Wales out in front. Victoria in second. It's South Australia and Western Australia vying for third. And New South Wales pushing towards the finish line. 250 metres to go. It's New South Wales and Victoria. And here come the Victorians. They lead by half a boat length. New South Wales. Victoria in second place. And Dunkley Smith is really pushing this Victorian combination through. And here they come. It's New South Wales still out in front. It's a quarter of boat length. New South Wales hang on for dear life. But here comes Victoria. Victoria, 100 metres to go as they push it towards the line now. It is still New South Wales. They'll hang on here. Only just though, Victoria in second place. What a finish here. And New South Wales have won the King's Cup for the sixth year in a row. An incredible performance by Victoria coming home in second place. But jubilation from New South Wales. All New South Wales, they've got plenty of good running here, I think they'll edge up the rate, sitting on 38 strokes a minute here. And we can see uh, Fergus Pagnall stroking that uh, New South Wales boat, proud Welshman he is, and uh, being spurred on by Toby Lister, the Australian Olympic Cox from London, and over stroking that Victorian boat, uh, Fergus's pair partner Josh Dunkley-Smith, such an iconic rhythm, but uh, New South Wales dominant. In lane seven, and they're in seventh heaven. New South Wales continue to dominate the King's Cup. Comfortably clear of Victoria this time around. Seven straight for the Blues.